Let's solve a uh, classical uh, problem in thermodynamics or fluid mechanics to demonstrate how we are going to convert units. In this particular case, let's calculate a Reynolds number. Let's look at a simple unit conversion problem. We have a volumetric flow rate of 10 gallons per minute of uh, 60 degree Fahrenheit water flowing through a one inch diameter pipe we want to calculate the Reynolds number. And the Reynolds number is a simple enough uh, equation. It's the diameter times the density of the liquid times the velocity of the liquid divided by the dynamic viscosity. And in this problem, we're given the pipe diameter is one inch. Uh, we'll take the water uh, density to be uh, 62.4 pounds mass per cubic foot at uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The water velocity was not to give it, so we'll have to determine that. And at this temperature, water has a uh, dynamic viscosity of about one centipoise. Now, we will recognize that a Reynolds number is uh, a dimensionless number. And look at the units that we've got. Here we've got inches, here we've got units of feet, and here we have units of centipoise. If we just plug these values in, uh, once we compute the uh, value of velocity, we're not going to get a dimensionless number. So how are we going to fix that? Well, we're going to convert all of our units that we're going to put into this Reynolds number equation uh, to basic units of length, mass, and time. So we're going to convert everything to feet, pounds, mass, and seconds. We've got some useful conversion factors to do that. A uh, cubic foot is equivalent to 7.481 gallons. A centipoise is, of course, a hundredth of a poise. And a poise is 0 0.0672 pounds mass per foot second. Now we need to calculate the velocity. The velocity is simply the volumetric flow rate, we'll call Q, divided by the area of the pipe. And so we have a volumetric flow rate of 10 gallons per minute. Now we need to convert that to cubic feet per second. So this first conversion factor is uh, the equivalent of one, uh, the numerator and denominator are, are uh, equivalent. One cubic foot is equivalent to 7.481 gallons. And of course, one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. Um, the area of the pipe is pi over 4 d squared, where we have a diameter of 1 inch. So squaring that, we get 1 square inch. So we have to convert square inches to square feet, and there's 144 square inches in a square foot. This is going to give us a velocity of uh, 4.085 feet per second. So now we need to calculate the dynamic viscosity. It was given as 1 centipoise. Uh, but we need to convert that into useful units. Um, so we're going to use a couple of different conversion factors here. The first is that uh, 100 centipoise is equivalent to one poise. And one poise is equivalent to 0 0.0672 pounds mass per foot second. And so we get a dynamic viscosity of 6.72 times 10 to the minus fourth pounds mass per foot second. So now we can calculate the Reynolds number. Uh, it's simply the diameter of 0.0833 feet times the density, which was given in uh, useful units from the beginning, uh, times the uh, velocity that we calculated in feet per second, and divided by the dynamic viscosity. Now, all of the units now are feet, pounds, mass, and second, and they all cancel. And we get a Reynolds number of 31,600. There are no units on that. So what would have happened if we had wanted to calculate the Reynolds number using uh, SI units? Well, in that case, we would have calculated a diameter of 0.0254 meters. The density would be just shy of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. We would have calculated a velocity of 1.246 meters per second, and the dynamic viscosity would have been 0 0.001 kilograms per meter second. If we plug these values into our Reynolds number equation, we'll get the same result, uh, 31,600, because once again, the Reynolds number is a dimensionless number.